Oh, now it's Halloween. Halloween, y'all! Oh, baby, I've been waiting all year for this. <sighs> First thing in the morning when I wake up every Halloween, I get dressed. I don't waste a second because Halloween is short lived, man. In less than 24 hours, it's gonna be gone. And I gotta eat candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay? It's the one time a year where I can eat candy all day and not be judged. Kit Kats are my favorite. If y'all don't see me next week on the tube, you know why. So for today, I thought I would do a little get ready with me. It's gonna be a little different. I've been doing a lot of Halloween, like scary and gory looking makeup lately. And today I just wanted to do something very glam, completely opposite. I'm wearing a Wonder Woman costume. I'll show you in a little bit what it looks like, like the full outfit. So this looks gonna be a very, very like glam gold, I'm just glamming up this whole face right now. First thing I'm going to do is grab my ELF Mineral Infused Primer and I'ma prime up my face. Who's got awesome plans tonight? Anybody? I'm gonna wait for trick-or-treaters tonight. James actually happens to have night class tonight, which is such a freaking bummer. But uh, it's okay because we're gonna probably go out afterwards, do something, maybe with his brother and it will be fun, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna hand out candy, even though last year I literally got not even one single trick-or-treater. Not one. I just sat here all night by myself with my big bucket of candy and just went to town with my candy because no one was around. Let's get some foundation up in here. Going back to my ELF Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Sand. So let me go ahead and prime my eyeball sockets and um, around my eyes because I'm gonna be doing a lot of like glitter and a lot of just packing on some eyeshadow. So I just recently got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I did go to Ulta and tried it on for myself and I was in love with it. it came with like a little baby eye blender. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. If I had any tired eyes, they are gone right now. They're non-existent. Okay. I wanna fix these eyebrows because I cannot move ahead without doing something about here. Gonna use my Iris Beauty um, eyebrow pencil that I'm obsessed with. So I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows upward. I'm going to go ahead and define my brow underneath. Okay, and now I'm going to brush the eyebrows down and I'm going to define the top. Let me just brush them out one more time. Wonder Woman has very strong brows because she's a strong woman, okay? We gonna do some serious contouring and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Minx. Now let's blend it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up our contour. I'm just gonna grab, again, my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight some areas. Okay, and now I'm just gonna blend it out.
Now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow and I'm just grabbing my transition brush and I'm gonna go ahead and use from the Morphe 35V palette. Just got this and I love it. Um, it's the stunning vibes and it really, this palette really is like so stunning. I just can't get over it. So I'm gonna be using this color right here and it is actually called Vixen. It's like a nice camel color and I think it would be perfect for this look. So let me go ahead and work on this crease a little bit. This color right here, it's called Addicted, is so freaking similar to what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm putting it at the ends of my eyes right here, trying to go outwards, you know, cat eye it a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead back in to the Vixen and go underneath the eye here. I'm gonna go ahead back into that purpley shade, blend it into the brown. You already know y'all, because I'm going blam, I'm doing a cut crease, baby. Gotta make these eyes pop a little bit up, you know. So I wanted like a stunning, stunning gold. So I'm going in with my Wet n Wild. It's just like this single little eyeshadow. And I got it at Dollar Tree. Let's try it out. Okay guys, I'm gonna be really honest. That is not at all how I thought it was going to turn out. So I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette and I'm gonna go ahead and use the color French Kiss because that was just not good. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead back with my transition shade and just blend this out. Okay, just need to take a little break once to break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I'm always bouncing back and forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush right now. It is going to be um, the Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. Do a little bit of this blush right here. Kind of give some life to my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go ahead in and grab, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my cheekbones. And I'm using the Milani um, Holographic Beams Palette. The um, gold one, which is the other. It's called Otherworldly. Sir Natural, something like that. I'm gonna do my cat eye winged liner and I'm using the Iris Beauty, which I just freaking love. Alrighty guys, and now I'm going in with my Demi Wispies, cause you know how I am, I need those falsies. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. I am definitely gonna go use some eyeliner. I was debating on it, but I'ma do it, okay? It's the Glimmer Sticks from Avon, Black Ice. I cannot wait, I wanna get to the lips because that's my favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm lining these babies with, um, actually this one's from Primark and I don't know what the color is because it don't say. It don't say what it is. Honeymoon? I think it's, it's honeymoon, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to top this look off with the Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb Lipstick. It is like so close to my outfit color, it's ridiculous. Decided I need some more color up in my eyes, um, right in the crease. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into in the zone just a little bit and 
just gonna swipe over. Now, let me just top off the eye one more time. And right now I'm using the Bullet Crease Brush from Morphe. And I'm just gonna go into the absolute lightest, brightest color of this palette. It's called Knockout. Just gonna touch up on the brow line up here. Because, yep, I just wanna get a little bit of like a, just to find that brow up in here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that super pretty gold that I put on my lid. I'm just gonna dab it on my lips. I want that pop of gold, baby. Mmm, okay, like for real though, let me set this face right freaking now before it goes somewhere. I'm just gonna use my ELF mist and set, illuminating. Okay guys, so now that the makeup's done, I'm gonna go real quick, I'll be right back. Let me just fix this hair, and then y'all can see the completed look. Don't go nowhere! Oh yeah, baby. So guys, I just wanna show you the final look. It's got the similar colors of the new Wonder Woman movie, but it also has like vintage old school costume details. Like it still has the stars like the old costume, but it's kind of got the color scheme of the new. So it's a little bit of both and so I don't even know what you would classify as, it's just a mixture. I picked this one in particular out of all the other ones because um, I really love how badass it looks. Like I love rich, deep tones. I love dark colors with like pops of gold. I'm a gold lover, that's how I am. I always have been. Not a fan of this headband. Guys, I got this costume off of Amazon for like $20, okay? This costume did not come with boot covers. And for some reason, there's no boot covers that match this outfit you gotta buy the full boot that they offer. And the full boot is like anywhere from $75 to $150 online. And I said, <laughs> come on, for real. So I just went into my closet and I uh, pulled out my brown boots, okay? And if you look closely, this is like a deep purpley brownish red. And the boots are just like straight up dark brown. Ain't no one gonna know. Because when I go out, it's going to be dark out. So nobody's going to know. This is definitely something I'm going to be wearing all day. The only thing I might change later on tonight when I go out is maybe I'll put some like battle scar, wounds, blood, something like that. Something just to look like i just been in a fight. So anyways, let me hop into the ending right now. Like right now. All right, you guys, that was it. That is the makeup tutorial. And not for nothing, but this could be used like any day out of the year. I just chose these specific colors to match my costume. But yeah, this is like an all year round look, I think. I hope you enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. It was so much fun. I got to try out new products with you guys. I got Kit Kats and Reese's. Okay, these are the two main candies I stocked up with this year because these are always the ones that go first. So I'm not playing that game no more where you get the variety pack, right? And then everybody eats the, the ones you want and leaves the rest for you. Like I'm not playing that game this year. I'm just stocking up on the good stuff. I'm gonna eat that until I puke and hope I feel good enough to go out later. Guys, have a really, really, really happy Halloween and please be very safe. And if you guys have kids, enjoy it. I hope you guys get a lot of candy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy Halloween. Oh, it's so tight on my head. It's like literally squeezing my brain right now, for real.